sunset. Everything you always wanted to know about 3D printing, I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Audible. We've been bringing you the latest developments in 3D printing for some time now, and lately, they've been coming so fast and furious that today we've got a whole episode for you. First up, the world's first 3D printed car. Okay, so it's just the body that's being printed, but the result is a, is a body that's stronger than steel and much lighter, which means greater gas mileage and improved performance. The body for the ERB2 prototype from Ecologic is printed using fused deposition modeling formed by thin layers of strong plastic sprayed one at a time for 2,500 hours. The final product is wrapped around a steel roll cage for safety's sake. Only one problem. In the event of an accident, repairs could be a challenge since the body is a single slab of composite plastic. Hopefully by that time, your local auto body shop will have a car-sized 3D printer of its own. Our space agencies have all sorts of plans for 3D printers. In October of 2014, NASA will deliver a 3D printer to the International Space Station so that plastic replacement parts can be printed out as needed. The European Space Agency is working on plans for a 3D printed moon base that would feed lunar dust into a printer that fuses it into structural components. Pretty out of this world, huh? The U.S. military is already using 3D printing in a big way. On the battleground, the, the Expeditionary Lab Mobile, ELM for short, is a generator-powered, heated and cooled 20-foot shipping container outfitted with 3D printers, computer-assisted milling machines, lasers, plasma, and water cutters, all connected to a satellite dish. This self-contained fab lab allows soldiers in the field to modify pretty much anything as needed. In Afghanistan, for instance, they've already modded and printed new parts for military flashlights to keep them from accidentally being switched on and giving away a soldier's position. On the medical front, a 3D printer has been used to produce a $150 prosthetic hand for a boy that would cost $10,000, the hand that is, through traditional means. As the boy grows, the hand will be able to grow with him as larger and larger versions are just reprinted to fit. In the UK, doctors are printing bones. Not like the TV show, although that's a good TV show. And not actual bones either yet. Data from CAT scans fed into 3D printers produce exact models of patients' bones so their doctors can practice complex surgical procedures before wheeling them into the operating rooms. Even though physicians still can't print actual bones, that hasn't stopped them from printing bone-like replacements out of ceramic. I'm gonna get me some new teeth. A woman in the Netherlands was outfitted with a ceramic jaw in 2012, and researchers in Washington state are printing out the next best thing to bone, a scaffolding that can be attached to damaged bones to allow the body to regrow and repair them. Medical researchers are having early success printing out cartilage, since it doesn't require blood supply. They've already successfully printed and implanted a human ear. In this case, a detailed mold of an ear was printed, filled with collagen, and placed in scaffolding in cell culture over which the cartilage grew for a week. The implant was then attached to a human patient where the collagen to cartilage conversion continued until the ear was fully grown. Sports doctors hope to eventually use this process to repair, say, knee injuries by scanning an athlete's damaged cartilage, then printing out an exact, repaired copy and replacing it. But what about 3D printing at home? We'll get right to it after this word from our sponsor. You should really take a break from all that hard work. Why don't you find a nice, comfy sofa, lay down, and have a professional read you a nice book? You can make that happen if you sign up for an account with audible.com. And if you go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash geekbeat, you'll get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up. I don't think you'd do any better than The Millionaire Mind by Thomas Stanley. Dr. Stanley interviewed hundreds of millionaires and then compiled the data to draw conclusions. What you're going to learn about the truly rich might just surprise you. So, audiblepodcast.com forward slash geekbeat. We'll get you either of those books for free. What are you waiting for? 
In February, the Solid Doodle 2 3D printer earned a rare GeekBeat Editor's Choice Award. This 3D printer starts at $4.99, putting it within the budget of just about anyone. During our test, we were able to easily replace a lost mounting joint for one of our camera rigs. You can find the full review at geekbeat.tv forward slash solid doodle. Besides the printer, you'll also need to spend about 30 bucks each time you load it with a spool of plastic. However, if you plan on doing a lot of 3D printing, there's a workaround. Researchers at Michigan Tech have created a plastic extruder called the Philobot that turns home recyclables into usable spools of filament for your 3D printer. The first model is going into production now and it's expected to sell in the under $400 range. Heck, I'd like to get one of those for my house and turn my used water bottles into cool stuff, like plastic handcuffs and maybe a friend. Finally, for those of you already tinkering with 3D printing, here's a cool hack for smoothing out your 3D printed creations using home appliances and fingernail polish remover. Heating the acetone in the same container with your printed masterpiece will make it all shiny and new looking and smooth out any rough spots. We've got a link to the how-to video courtesy of Solidoodle at geekbeat.tv. Hey, if you've got a 3D printer, we'd love to see your creations. Show me your pictures in our IRC chat room. Details at geekbeat.tv forward slash live. I'm probably in the chat room right now. Not right now while I'm shooting the show, but right now while you're watching this. Like right now you go there and I'm there. See how it works. And if you're not subscribed to our daily vlogs on the YouTube channel, you are definitely missing out. I'm John P. And you know how to find me. See ya. On the medical front, a 3D printer has been used to produce a $150 prosthetic hand for a $10,000 boy. The same container with your printed masterpiece will make it all shiny and, and, and new. 